Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be explaining the basics of using the WinReg module in Python. I'm not going to be going over everything that's involved in the WinReg module, but I'm going to be showing you, for example, how to update your path variable in Python using the WinReg module. So if you don't know anything about the registry, then I have a link in the description to a video that I made just explaining what the registry is in basic terms. But basically what we're going to go through today is just how to modify your path variable, which is the variable that's stored inside the registry. And so uh, what we're going to do for that is we have a new program path that we want to add to the registry. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and actually uh, update the registry using that. So the first function that we're going to need to use is we're going to need to actually connect to the registry. To connect to the registry, we need to use the H key. So for those of you who haven't used the registry much before, let me just quickly open this up. Sorry, the screen will be black for you for a second. These top level directories that are found in the, um, <clears throat> in the registry are called uh, root directories or H key directories. And so basically the way that we access it is we use the connect registry function, which is part of the WinReg module. So I'll just pull up the documentation for it here. I also have all the documentation linked down below, by the way. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to pass it a computer name and the key that we want to actually specifically access. So in this case, uh, computer name, we specify it as none because we want to specify the current computer. And so that's just a built-in feature of WinReg. If you specify none, it just says, okay, look on the local computer because you can also access remote computers using that host name feature. The next thing you need to do is specify which H key you want to connect to. So in our case, we want to connect to the current user H key which is h key underscore current user. So that's built into WinReg as well. We just do WinReg dot h key current user. And much like you would modify a file, uh, you basically just use this context manager. So you say with connect registry as h key, we want to basically go ahead and open the connection to the registry. Next, we want to pick which sub key we want to access. So in our case, we want to access the environment sub key, which is right here. That's the environment sub key that we want to access. And so basically what we say is we use the open key function, which is right here. And with this open key function, we basically have to pass in the key that's currently open, which is our H key. We then want to pass in the sub key, whether it's reserved and the access level that we need. So in our case, we pass in the H key, which is the current user H key that we have open. We then pass in environment because as you know, that's the sub key that we want to access. We say zero for reserved. You pretty much always want to say zero for reserved, so I'll just put that in anyways. And then the next thing is we have to put in access. And so access is an int. And uh, because this is a special integer and we don't necessarily know what that value is, uh, WinReg has these all specified for us. So in this case, I've used key all access, which is essentially the same as the R plus mode when you're using um, open in Python. So if you do, for example, open, and then whatever the file name is, and then you say mode is equal to R plus, that is effectively what we are currently doing using this winreg.key all access in, uh, in this function. And so all the information about the different types of access, I'll leave it down below, are right here in the access rights. And uh, in our case, we're just doing basically allow us to do whatever we want, allow us to read and update the registry. So what we're doing next, in our case, we want to be able to update the path variable. And so when we run this code off the bat, it's going to throw an error, and I'll explain why. But uh, we want to use the enum value uh, method. And so what this method does is it basically you give it the open subkey, which again, that's our environment subkey. And you give it an index that you want to see. So in our case, uh, it skips over default. So it just ignores default completely. And then we go 0th, 1stth, 2ndth, 3rdth. And so this is the one that we want because we want to modify the path variable. So if I go ahead and I actually run this code, uh, it'll throw an error at the end. So don't worry about that. I'll explain why I threw that error at the end anyways. But you can see here, when we go ahead and we print out the value for, the, uh, for that enum value, we get a tuple. And that tuple has path at the beginning, which is our name here. And then the first fifth value here, that's our data. And so that's the value that we actually want. So in this case, we would want to do that. And so if we go ahead and run this code, there will actually be two things that print, but we're only going to care about the first one. So this first one here that printed 
is our existing value path, which now we've gone ahead and we basically, from inside this tuple, we've just pulled out the data, which is the first of the value and printed it right here. Now, the next thing that we did is because we are working with the path variable, we want to add a new program path. In our case, we want to add percent user profile percent downloads. Uh, it's already in our path because I've already run this. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say percent user profile documents because it's already there. And so you can see right here at the end, that's the percent user profile documents. And so what we want to do instead is we want to add documents, which we have now done. So all I've done is just taken the current path value, which is just a string, added our program path, added a semicolon to say that's the end of the file, and then Bob's your uncle. Now, this next part is a little bit gross. There's a lot of code here. I'm just going to uncomment this one first, talk about this, and then I'll explain the rest. So to actually set a registry value, what we want to do is we want to use the set value x function. And so if we go ahead and we pull this up, so that's the num value function. So that's where you just pass in the key in the index. Uh, the set value x function, we want to pass in our open sub key. We want to then pass in the value name that we want to modify, the reserve type, its type, and the new value that we want to put in. So in our case, all of that corresponds to the sub key, which is again, that's our environment key here. We then want to say that we want to modify the path which is the name right here. We then say zero for reserved because we don't have to worry about that. We then want to specify the type, which as you can see here, when we go into type, it, the type here is called reg expand SZ. So you just type in winreg dot and then whatever that type is. So in this case, that's reg expand SZ. If you're using a modern IDE, it should auto update to uh, put that in there. And then the last thing that we put in is whatever value we want to actually change it to, which in our case is the new path value. Now, that will actually make a change to the registry. The problem is that that change won't actually properly save by doing this. And so this piece of code that I've included at the end, I'm not going to explain it because it's very complicated, actually. Um, but basically, this is using the C types library. And again, I'll have this code posted. Um, long story short, what this code says is update the registry. That's basically what it says. And so in here, we have a bunch of stuff typed out, but the main thing that you need to care about is that right here, we have environment. So basically change this to whatever you put as your sub key, and that's basically all you need to do to change it. Um, if we go ahead and now actually run this, so I'll just show you. So again, if we do echo path, that will print out our current path value, right? And so that ends at micro 4.1. We go ahead and run this file. And now we go ahead, we open up a new terminal and we do echo percent path percent. You'll see documents has been added to the end of the path variable. So this has worked properly and basically we have updated the registry. Now there are some other methods that are available. Um, for example, there is uh, save key, set value, uh, query value, there's delete key. There's a whole bunch of things available in here. I've just explained some of the more useful ones that I personally used. Um, I tend to recommend against deleting keys and deleting values just because uh, unless they're harming anything, uh, it's probably better to leave them in because if you accidentally delete the wrong thing, then you may screw up your entire Windows installation. So just be careful with that. Um, but that is basically the pattern that you would use to go about making any changes that you need to to the registry so thank you for watching if you enjoyed be sure to give the video a like uh, be sure to subscribe for more content about uh, computer science and programming in general and i will hopefully see you in the next one